Howdy YouTube and welcome to another episode of The Gunman. So today we've got another spray gun review and today's spray gun is the Supernova Series 2. This is a gun that I've been looking forward to using for quite some time. So when the opportunity came up on Instagram, a guy that I follow and a guy that follows me, Chris Ellis from the UK there. Uh, he's from Horsepower Customs. I think that's in Wales. Either way, not important. Um, he just sent me a message, said, hey, mate, um, I will send this out to you if you're happy to pay shipping. So I said, yep, I've wanted one of these for a while. The reason we had to do it that way is because currently they're actually unavailable in Australia, the Iwata Series 2. So Iwata, the Japanese, do things a little bit different than we do in the West. So for some strange reason, they've done some staggered release of this gun. I don't know why. If you know why, please tell me in the comments. But to the best of my knowledge, they're still only available in the UK, maybe in the rest of Europe as well. I don't know, maybe in Japan. But like I say, I do know they're not available in Australia, and I'm pretty sure they're not available in the US yet as well. So if you are looking for one of these, I would say the best way to go would be to get one of those package forwarding companies. Um, but yeah, all of that aside, Spray Guns Direct do actually have them, but you would yeah, they will not send them outside of the UK because they will basically lose Iwata. That's how strict they are with it. Either way, as you saw at the start, it doesn't look a great deal different than the Series 1. I think they're a good looking gun. I've always liked the Iwatas. I reckon they're quite... Uh, sorry, the, the Supernova specifically. I, I thought they're a beautiful looking gun. They sort of look like a phaser, something that would, um, you know, look would not look out of place on the set of Star Trek or something like that. But as you can see here, I started off, the very first time I tried to use it, I was using some candy. I'm like, hey, I'll, I'll go straight and have a look at that. Like, it's night and day. I don't know if you noticed, but um, at the when I was using that Supernova, you could see it was clear on the top and bottom. So that was heavy spots on the top and bottom, and it was red in the middle. So this is candy. So the dye actually does highlight any inconsistencies in the fan i just couldn't get it set up i don't know why it just it wasn't working but then straight away bang pro light oh sorry pro uh, gti pro um te 21.3 bang just doing exactly what i wanted it to do i found that i had to wind that fan right in to get it even and i was i'd just about given up on this gun like the first time i used it i'm like man this is unusable like it was unusable just about oh my um, you can probably hear me in the background like yelling and screaming and what the friggin hell is going on with this gun? Um, and then part of it was me. So I take it back. That's why like I reckon if you're going to be critical of something you gotta be make you gotta make sure you're right. That's why you know let's just say I loved it. I'd probably just use it two or three times and I'll be like okay this is a good gun. I'll do the review on it. But if you're gonna be critical you've got to be sure that you're Absolutely right, okay? Unusable. And I do have criticisms of it. Now, some of them were my fault, and like I was about to say before, is the pressure gauge, which was the Segola pressure gauge down the bottom, that was actually out by a fair bit. So it's about, I think it was about seven or eight PSI that that gauge is out. So that helped by just ditching that. The first thing I did, someone actually, again, mentioned that on Instagram. They're like, man, I've had one of those Segola gauges go on me and I now know that the same thing happened to me. So, I just ditched the pressure gauge to start off with, um, and then instantly I was getting better results. Um, but yeah, because I was so unhappy with the results I was getting at the start, I, I, I decided I'll get some black paint, put it through the gun, do some test sprays. This is the best way to identify any faults in your fan, by the way is to get black paint in it and yeah, just get some bit of cardboard or just some masking paper or something like that. The black paint will highlight it better than any other colours. Um, and yeah, just hold the gun straight and uh, yeah, see if you're getting top and bottom heavy or middle heavy or you know whatever it may be. Um, and as it turned out, I'm looking at this and I'm like, man, it's spraying okay. Like this, I couldn't fault the fan, right? Um, you could potentially say that that's a little bit heavy top and bottom. Um, but yeah, like it's, it's something that you'd be, I knew after looking at this, I'm like, okay, I'll get that with settings, if you know what I mean. I knew that I'll be able to set that gun up. It's just, I didn't quite have it right yet. Now, the part of the reason that that actually ended up getting me off guard is because when these first came out, I'm, I can't remember if it was Chris from Spray Guns Direct, but either way, somebody somewhere was saying they fixed the fan. So I'm like, cool. 
we're not going to have this annoyingly big fan and unnecessarily annoyingly big fan. Um, like, so on the original Supernovas, you've got to come in. Like, well, I found the best way with a fan is come the whole way in and then come out one and three quarter turns on that fan or two turns. Um, so yeah, I, I, I don't know. That's just the way I figure it out. Um, generally, it's I calculate it from out and then I'll just go half a turn in on a normal spray gun if you even need to turn it in at all because many don't need turning in at all. But generally, I, I'll um, count from out to in. But this, the supernovas are so annoyingly big that you actually have to go all the way in and then count out. So it's like the other way than, than normal. As it turns out, they still haven't fixed the fan. Honestly, I'm not sure what they've done to make this different than the Supernova Series 1. The only thing that I can really notice is some cosmetic changes to it. Now they do actually have, now this one here was the non-digital, right? You may have noticed that, but that's another thing that they did change it, to be fair on them. The digital is now in the handle of the gun, so it's no longer, um, yeah, no, no longer all analog. So that, that's um, one change to the gun, but look, the way it sprays, it, it basically sprays like a, a Series 1. You've got to wind the fan in heaps, You've got to, you've really got to baby that, that thing. Like it's, you, it's just too finicky. That's a big criticism of it. So you know where I'm at with this gun? All the criticism you hear about this gun, it's correct. And all the people that absolutely love this gun, they're, they're right too. Like everything you've ever heard about this gun, it's true. If someone tells you that the, the supernovas are a finicky prick of a thing to set up, um, they're right. If someone tells you it doesn't spray that good, they're right. But if someone also tells you it's the best spray gun they've ever used for clear, they're right as well. So that's where I'm at with it. Um, they are a strange gun. They do atomize very fine. They are capable of breaking that paint up really well, like a thick clear that generally won't want to go on nice and smooth you can actually get it on smooth if you take the time it's one of those things that yes you will get rewarded but look at the end of the day is it any better okay so yes i say when people say it's the best clear gun i say they're right too but in saying that it's no better than your um say sata cc gun it's no better than your uh pro light or you know your DV one, it's no better than them. Um, yeah, so this this job here, this tailgate that I sprayed here, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna refresh myself with this gun because I've actually had it for a while now, and I've been putting this review off for a while. So <laughs> yeah, I just had to get, bite the bullet and say put it together. But um, yeah, and then I did this tailgate, and I'm like, what the. That thing came up like this is a clear that really doesn't usually like going down smooth. So this is a PPG LVC 136 clear coat. It's a thick, gluggy clear. It doesn't flow. It just that's uh, terrible stuff to be to be honest. I, I really don't like it. I actually prefer the auto thing when it comes to PPG. I reckon that's the best clear they've got. Is their absolute cheapest one that they don't even put their own um, label on. But that's another story. Yeah, the gun itself. It, I did this tailgate and I'm like, what the. That's like the best part of the car. And like, yeah, the rest of the car I did with my um, T110 Pro Light and the 105 Clear. So it, it really blew my mind. I'm like, that doesn't add up. But then, yeah, it leads me to come to that conclusion is, yes, it can be the best clear gun you'll ever have. But on the other hand, you can get runs with it really easy. So I don't know if you've been noticing when I've been um, yeah, spraying with this, that if you look at the fan side on, you will um, notice that it's got a very sort of, they're sharp edges to the fan, so they don't curve around. So if you look at the, um, it was really noticeable at the very start of this video when I swapped straight from the Supernova Series 2 to the GTI Pro with the TE20 air cap on it. You got very rounded edges to the um, to the fan, so top and bottom, if that makes sense. Um, so basically, I've noticed what will happen is anywhere that you've got a shape on the panel, it'll go heavy top and bottom because it's got such sharp edges on it. So you will get runs with this gun very very easily. Again, one of the reasons why I'm not a big fan of it. Um, I think they look great. 
they can do a very good job they can get the clear down very nicely but at the end of the day I would not really highly recommend them if you're on the fence about it if you've got a couple of guns you got your developers you got your SADA um, you know you've got your Segola whatever it be and you just want to try something different and you're aware that it's a bit of a finicky beast but can be very rewarding give it a shot you know if you can justify the cost give it a shot what's the worst thing that can happen you know you just sell it on um, and this last bonnet here uh, again I just thought I'd you know put it through its paces um, and the clear I'm using here is the 105 clear and again it did a wonderful job but yeah just like always when I'm using the supernova I am especially careful of any contours so on this bonnet here those little swage lines just hold off like don't go too heavy because it will run it will run really easy and especially if you're using that 105 clear because that will want to run at the best of time now as I'm sitting here watching this footage I can actually see that there is still some slight imperfection in that fan I can see that it's it's putting more on down the bottom and the top than it is in the middle so there's there's definitely criticism to be given towards this gun um, does it mean it's a bad gun no it's one of the best guns out there in many ways but it's one of the worst guns out there in many ways as well so it's, it's a really hard gun to uh, do a review on it really is I don't know let me know your thoughts have you got the supernova series too were you let down by it do you think that they should have improved that fan I really think that they could have they I think they missed a good opportunity they could be up there with the likes of the SATA clear gun at the moment it seems like uh, I can barely even believe I'm saying it but SATA are kind of leading the pack when it comes to clear coat guns I'm not quite sure about the DV1 um, yeah clear coat gun it's okay I can get good finishes out of it but for me at the moment that SATA CC has got my uh, top spot when it comes to clear coat and it has done for a while so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and like I say if you do want to get one I'm sure Spray Guns Rec would be happy to sell you one but they would have to sell it to hey you might even know someone in the UK you can just get it sent to their place and they'll I'd like to say a big thanks to everyone for watching and if you'd like to support the channel further you're more than welcome to go over and check out some of the merchandise we've got my personal favorite is those spray suits so they're a good quality collab branded spray suit with a gunman logo on it there's also hats drink coolers hoodies and t-shirts so be sure to go over and check out the link in the description if you are interested